I spent approximately $1,000 to make a song and a music video about the flagrant copyright abuse by large music publishers on YouTube. Really, just for the hell of it, I guess. You know, it's, it's content. Why not? So five days ago, I set a goal for myself to get the whole project done from conception to completion in just four days and have it go live on Saturday, July 6th. I failed. It took me five days instead, but here we are and the following is a story of the collaborative effort that went into this project and how I was able to pull it all together in just under one week. So I need to get cracking if I want to get this whole project completed and uploaded for you guys before I head to VidCon. So I had to employ some seriously powerful songwriting techniques. And what is that? You might ask, well, you just you just ask Google, like, like everything else in your life. <laughs> Common chord progressions. All right, we got one, five, minor, six, four. Uh, sexy, but not quite what I had in mind. Let's try one minor six, four, five. Oh. Nah. Two minor, five, seven, one. This has got to be it. I can feel it. Ooh. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, my loins are tingling. Got him. Eliciting Google's help yet again. Popular song structures. Intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? First, I gotta decide how many beepums I want. No, too spicy. Let's knock it down to 82. Oh, yeah, right in the feels. Oh, it's time to lay it down. All right, hard part is done. Now we just copy and paste according to our arrangement and we have ourselves a song. I almost forgot. Gotta hit Q for quantize here. Perfect. <laughs> Command C and B. Reload. Reload. That should be about enough. Uh. We arranged it. We color coded it for our visual pleasure. Changed one chord in the chorus to spice it up a bit and wrote an eight bar bridge. And we are now cooking with gas, my friends. All we need now is some actual real musicians to play some instruments to make it sound good. Uh, and this is where Fiverr comes in. Now, I've never really personally used Fiverr before, but this part was incredibly fun for me. If you're not familiar with what it is, it's a website where you can pretty much pay people to do almost anything. And in this case, there's just a world full of talented session musicians ready to play on, you know, the track of your choice if the price is right. My main concern now is a lot of these gigs are like three to five day turnaround times or seven days on some of them and I only had a few days not to not only finish the entire song but to get a music video shot and done as well. Fortunately if you have the budget for it and you simply talk to the musicians uh, and offer them a little bit more than they would normally get for that particular gig you can get moved right to the top of the list and I was able to get all of my work done pretty much within less than 24 hours which was fantastic. And the reason we had the budget for not only that but everything else that went into this song in video is because I was fortunate enough to get this video sponsored by Raycon wireless earbuds. So I'm gonna let Hat and Glasses Leon tell you a little bit about that. Raycon E50s are a true wireless headphone experience, which means you're not gonna have that obnoxious cord running from one earbud to the other or some ugly looking stem sticking out. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a gym rat myself, so it's safe to say I've used countless amounts of headphones over the years, and the E50s are far and wide the sleekest and most comfortable that I've used, and they sound great when you're on the go or smashing a sweaty workout. Now the case is not only slick, but it acts as a portable charger as well. So when you're done, you just put the earbuds back in and it will recharge them fully up to five times on the go. There's a handful of impressive styles to choose from. And in my experience with the E50s, it's the convenience and the comfort that really grabbed me. I mean, they fit my ears perfectly out of the box, but they do have the silicone tips for any size ear. You just take them out of the case, they turn on and pair automatically, and off you go. Not only do Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbuds on the market, but you'll get an additional 20% off if you order yours using my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com forward slash Leon Lush. So if you're ready to grab a pair of Raycon E50s for yourself, make sure you go to the description and use my link for 20% off. Now when I make songs, I typically like to start with the beat or drums, so I figure we'd just search tracking drums here in Fiverr. Tom Dublier, 21 five-star ratings. Indeed, Tom, if I could ask of your assistance, please. Yeah, okay, I'm sold. So I said, hey Tom, I'm making a YouTube video. Here's a song arrangement with a bare bones piano track. What can you do for me? So we chatted for a bit. He asked me what I had in mind. I said, good question, haha. <laughs> Are you thinking simple rock beat, Tom asked me? <laughs> What do I look like, Radiohead? Of course a simple rock beat. I need some basic bitch Maroon 5 type ish. So I paid the man and he knocked it out of the park in less than five hours. Next up for some of that fat bass, I found Lucy Borkner. Hey, Lucy here.
Uh, dope accent, ombre dyed dreadlocks. Uh, say no more, fam. You're hired. Oh, it's coming along now. My man Drew Creel up next came up huge with multiple guitar parts, rhythm, lead, acoustic, electric, nailed it, headed back to me in five hours. Big ups, Drew. Now, I don't know if it's because my mother played a lot of Kenny G around the household as I was growing up, especially around Christmas time, the Kenny G Christmas album. Uh, but I just had to have saxophone on this song. I knew it from the get. I was like, I'm gonna get a sax on this song. I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate it, but my man David Bustos came through in the clutch. Yep, you're my guy, David. Woo, my man wears his soul on his sleeve. So the only thing left now, I guess, is up to me. I gotta write the lyrics and then sing. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're already running behind schedule. I'm gonna try to keep this lyric writing to under a minute. Here we go. And time. 20 seconds. Not too bad. I'm obviously kidding. That actually took a really long time. They claim this, they claim that. Well, they don't give a single fuck up about context. Believe that. That is all there is to it, my friends. Tracking is done. Instruments are handled. All that's left is to finish the arrangement of the instruments and, and mix it, which I simply don't have time to do. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that I can just play it as is and it's going to sound good enough for the video. Oh my God, that sounded that sounded so bad. <laughs> oh my Lord, that is not how I wanted it to come out. I do not have time to mix this thing though. You know what, I'm gonna actually call my boy Josh. He's been doing some editing for me on the second channel. I don't know if he's available, but he just so happens to be an audio engineer as well. So let's give him a buzz. Come on, dude. Oh, God. Hello? Oh, thank God. What's up, dude? I didn't I didn't think you were gonna pick up. Listen, I got a job for you and I need it done immediately. You're not busy, uh right now, I hope. Oh dude, I am sorry. The timing could not be worse. I am absolutely slammed right now. Alright, listen, you little shit. When I need something done, you drop whatever unimportant nonsense you're in the middle of, and you get it the fuck done. No, not for you, cheap ass pays me. No way. All right, uh, what if I pay to fly you out to VidCon with me? Hello? Josh? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes then. All right, well, I guess while he's taking a whack at that, I need to go find an outfit for this music video, so let's get to it. What are you doing with an eggplant? Well, you've never heard of an eggplant saxophone? No, I don't think so. Just wait, dude. <sighs> think this should be part of the outfit, dude? 100 percent. 100, dude. You can pull the eggplant out of that. Just <laughs> <laughs> had the eggplant chilling yeah. right here. Yo, that's money. Yeah. 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 I'm not really liking any of these things. Oh snap, actually I gotta call Josh and see how the mix is coming, hold up. Yo, dude, just checking in. I wanna make sure the mix is coming along. We're kinda at crunch time right now. The mix is coming along fantastically, Leon. I'm glad you asked. You see, what I did here is I put an EQ on your ad-lib vocal and basically made it kinda like with a low pass and a high oh, pass. Dude, dude, hold up, hold up, dude. Nerd alert. Just shut up and hurry up and finish this thing, dude. No one cares about all that. Hello? Dickhead. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Right. Why not? Right. Outfit complete. Outfit complete. I'm in the state of YouTube. My God. <laughs> I think they got their eyes closed. Every time I open my inbox, I want to die. Another copyright claim from UMG God damn it, I hate UMG Well all the major music publishers are now hiring full time 
Hundreds of people, they just pay minimum wage to scour YouTube and claim anything remotely related to music with no regard to context or legality. It's pathetic. I just sang a two second clip in a 15 minute and 43 second fit. And now you think you can steal all my income? Cause I whistled three notes from an 18 year old song. Yeah. They claim this, they claim that. Well, they don't give a single fuck about context. Believe that all these corporate money hungry companies stifling all the world's creativity. Yeah. And YouTube just sits back Watching all of their creators get bullied Believe that sitting on their hands afraid to move Because they listen to the money They don't listen to me or you You can just dispute the claim YouTube eagerly replies Oh, that's great, but all of the disputes are, uh, systematically denied. It literally never works. Because these record labels never face consequences for their overzealous claiming of trivial clips. Maybe if they had to play by the rules, they'd have to use discretion and stop treating us like we're fools. Well, I, I just sing a two-second clip in a 15-minute and 43-second vid. And now you want to claim the whole thing is yours? Why don't you jump up off my dick? Filthy horse. They claim this, they claim that Well, they don't give a single fuck about context Believe that all these corporate money-hungry companies Stifling all the world's creativity, yeah And YouTube just sits back Watching all of their creators get bullied Believe that sitting on their hands afraid to move Because they listen to the money They don't listen to me or you Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Huge shout out to everyone that helped bring it all together. All of the links will be in the description below. If you guys could please help get this poor bastard Josh to 1k sub so he can one day in the future monetize his channel to help pay for his vintage anime collection, I would greatly appreciate that. Finally, this song is going to be live on iTunes and Spotify in the very near future, at which point I'm going to upload just the music video independently to my second channel, so you'll be able to watch that over there and stream to your heart's content. You know I appreciate you guys, and if you wouldn't mind ever so gently, just hit through and that mother like button, I would be in your debt. All right, guys, peace. We'll see you in the next one.